Hello. This is lecture number two of the chapter What is Democracy and Why Democracy of class ninth. Children, in the first lecture, we have studied about the meaning of democracy, the definition of Abraham Lincoln that it is a government of the people, for the people and by the people. It means in democracy the real powers are in the hands of the people. People they are the real rulers of the country and they elect their representatives and the representatives rule the country until they enjoy the support of the people. So let's begin the chapter what is democracy and why democracy. In this lecture we are going to discuss a case study on Pakistan. With the help of this case study we will come to the conclusion whether one of the features of democracy was followed in Pakistan or it was not followed in Pakistan. The feature that uh, we would discuss using this case study is major decision by elected leaders. We know that in democracy the major decisions are taken by the elected leaders. Now here the question is who are the elected leaders? Elected leaders are those representatives which are elected by the people from the elections. During the elections, they vote the candidate which they feel is the best. And those elected leaders, they form the government and takes the major decisions. So in a democracy, major decisions must be taken by elected leaders. Now we will do a case from Pakistan to check whether this feature of democracy was followed in Pakistan or not. Now in Pakistan people have elected parliament and the government. But the real power does not lies with the parliament or the government. The real power was in the hand of the military ruler. By now you must have understood who was the military ruler in Pakistan. Let us go few years back. In October 99, it was General Pervej Musharraf. The picture that you are seeing on your screen is a picture of General Pervej Musharraf and he was a military general. So in October 1999, General Pervej Musharraf, that is a military general, organized a military coup and he overthrew the democratically elected government. The military ruler, General Pervej Musharraf, overthrew the democratically elected government and declared himself 
as the chief executive of the country it means the parliament was removed the government was removed and he himself declared as the ruler of the country he himself declared as the chief executive of the country now in 2002 he issued a legal framework order remember this date the year in 2002 means after three years in 2002 he issued a legal framework order and according to this order the president can dismiss the national or provincial assemblies according to this order the president can dismiss the national or provincial assemblies and uh, this is the main feature of this legal framework order so an order was issued by him in 2002 and according to this order the president has the power to dismiss the national or the provincial assemblies means the parliament can be dismissed according to this order the work of the civilian cabinets was also supervised by national security council and this national security council was dominated by the military officers so in short you can say that by 2002 the entire pakistan was in the hands of the military with the help of the legal framework order the president was able to dismiss the national or the provincial assemblies at the same time the civil bodies was under national security council and the national security council was dominated by the military officers so military was taking control of pakistan and all the decisions in pakistan was not taken by the government the decision was taken by a military ruler remember that a military ruler is not the one which is elected by the people military ruler is not uh, an elected representative but still the military ruler was taking all the major decisions in pakistan The elected government was dismissed. The elected representatives, they were not allowed to take any decisions. So it was a case in Pakistan when General Parvesh Musharraf was controlling the country. That phase of Pakistan, that period of Pakistan was not called a democratic period. So we can say that the rule of Pravej Musharraf was not democratic. The rule of Pravej Musharraf was undemocratic because he was not an elected ruler. He was a military ruler. So you can say that in a democracy, the final decision or power must lies in the hand of the elected representatives. But in Pakistan, the final decisions of power rest in the hands of Parvej Musharraf. So Pakistan under Parvej Musharraf was non-democratic. The final decision-making power must rest with those elected by the people. This is the feature of a democratic country. The final decision-making power must rest with those elected by the people. Whereas we have seen in the case study, that a military ruler, Parvej Musharraf, he has dismissed the governments and he has, he has taken the control of the entire country in his hands and he started taking all the major decisions. So Pakistan under Parvej Musharraf was non-democratic. So thank you. This is all about uh, the case study of Pakistan. In the next lecture, we would be doing the case study of China. And we will try to prove or we will try to check whether China is democratic or China is also 
not democratic. Thank you.